Katie, how you doing? You think yeah, yeah. you think we can figure out how to work this thing? It's very complicated, but I think we can. What do you think? Yeah. You think so, Katie? Say yeah, something yeah, else. Yeah. Okay. Good. 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 This was a test. One, okay. two, three, four. Welcome Craig Baxo. All right, because hey, this is reality. I read this on Facebook the other day. Started out working for them at sea level downtown Charlotte. And I worked there for, I think, between six to eight months. And and when they was talking about opening up Ace, my name came up. But I, at the time, like, I didn't have any kind of manager experience or anything. So I really thought it was a long shot. But I just knew that if I did get the opportunity to, to be the, the one that they did hire for the brand, that I was giving my all and try to take it to, to new levels. So I'm Aww. very passionate about Ace. at what is can you give us some what's it like being a manager uh it's it's fun and and it's a, it's trying at times because you have to deal with you know it's like like i tell people i don't really consider myself a manager i call myself a coach because i have to find good people and find and find you know their scrimps and put them in the right position you know so that way the team can win so i really consider myself a coach very cool that's like that's amazing because it sounds like yeah, to be a coach, it obviously it sounds like, and I can tell you already have an amazing personality and attitude. So I'm sure that the other employees, you know, it's always nice to have an encouraging person to work with, right? Exactly. <laughs> and it starts at the top, like with ownership. What to me, like when people come in and say how great my employees treat them, it starts with me. If I treat them good, they'll treat, them, they'll treat the customers good. So I always try to just keep the standard up of having a laid back, relaxed environment, but serious one, you know, make sure we execute and do our job right, but we can laugh, we can, it's all right to laugh, it's all right to cry, it's all right to, you know, have fun and work or enjoy coming to work. So again, from my research, um, Ace opened, I guess, like maybe towards the end of 2019? Uh, November the 5th, 2019, yes ma'am. So what has, what was it like to open and then several months later, later have the pandemic hit? Uh, it was, I can say crazy. Uh, I mean, like, cause it was like me coming into something new as far as like being a manager and then now having to manage a situation that no one had ever been through. So I couldn't go to, to anyone over me and say, Hey, how do I handle this situation that we all had to learn, you know, on the fly, we had to learn together. So it wasn't like we had a blueprint on how to handle a pandemic. So just like, you know, we just going, you know, tuck our heads down and just stick to it. Very cool. And I'm, yeah, I mean, I guess with everyone, it's just like no one. No one had anything to compare this to, right? Exactly, exactly. Do you feel like customers are more joyous coming out of it? Or do you think people tend to be more hasty or rude? Well, for me, like I always tell everyone, like what's better at Ace than the burgers is the customers. Like I feel like we have some of the greatest customers. Oh. Like, you know, we have regulars that come in and just the new people and just the the vibe that we give them and we always get it back. Like I can say maybe had maybe one rude customer my, my whole time being an ace. So I think that's pretty good because we've sold a lot of burgers. So I, I take that ratio. Absolutely. And the burgers, if you guys are here in Charlotte or you come to visit, please go check them out. Definitely best burgers in town for sure. All right. Thanks for that. <laughs> best burgers in town. Uh, I, so every time I've come, obviously I've, I've just been a burger gal, but I've never tried the fried bologna. So can you describe fried bologna sandwiches to anybody that hasn't had them, like myself? Well, like, and consider you from Charlotte, I'm I'm surprised you never had a bologna sandwich. <laughs> you are very shocked. Uh, it's it's an an old old fashioned bologna. Uh, it's very thick cut bologna, which which our bologna is, and and then we got a uh, spicy dejeunés. We got house made pickles, onion scrolls, and it's just kind of like like I always tell people, it's not your grandma's bologna sandwich because I remember growing up. My grandma would make a bologna sandwich. It would just have mustard and bread, and that was like that was like, you know, like steak for us sometimes. Yes. So like when, when they actually presented this, and I was like, yeah, this is not your grandma's bologna sandwich. So if you haven't had the opportunity to try it, I think it'll be worth it. Thank you, Thank you Katie Black. You're amazing. Thank you, love. I love your energy.